Are your corals turning dark and brown? Notice a decrease in alkalinity intake and coral growth, while at the same time increase in nuisance algae? Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Jeremy and I will be your host for today. So you have a mature reef tank and all of a sudden your corals are starting to turn brown and they're not growing as fast as they used to. You're trying to figure out what the problem is. You have checked your calcium and alkalinity and they are all at proper levels. Your magnesium is where it needs to be yet your corals just don't look right. Most likely your tank is experiencing high levels of phosphates. Phosphates have a direct effect on coral growth by inhibiting the calcification process. The more phosphates that are present in the water, the less likely a coral will be able to take in calcium carbonates from the water and build its own calcareous structure. Another reason could be a higher than normal concentration of nitrates. Nitrates can spur the growth of zooxanthellae, which accounts for the darkening and browning of corals. Excess zooxanthellae can also outcompete host coral for inorganic carbon, therefore slowing down calcification. The process is then exasperated when alkalinity levels are on the lower end of the range. For these reasons, regular measurement of your aquarium's phosphate and nitrates are important to prevent undesirable levels or to pinpoint a cause and develop a game plan that will return your tank back to its optimal levels. Giesman Aquaristic, well known for their beautiful lighting fixtures, have developed a new line of high accuracy test kits. Giesman Professional Test Kits are designed, manufactured, and tested to standards that are unparalleled in this industry. All Giesman Test Kits feature calibrated droppers to ensure that every drop administered is exactly the same. You can do this one, two, three, four times, and the test results are always the same. All test kits feature a clearly printed expiration date and lot number. All Giesman test kits include multi-language illustrated instructions and professionally calibrated color charts. All reagent bottles are clearly labeled, making every Giesman test kit easy to understand and use. Phosphates are an integral building block of all living organisms. Unfortunately, it is often present in excess in aquaria. The optimal phosphate content in salt water should range between 0.03 and 0.1 mg per liter for SPS, between 0.1 and 0.2 mg per liter for LPS corals, and most other coral species, such as soft corals, tolerate values between 0.1 and 0.4 mg per liter. Testing is simple. Rinse the test vial in running water and then rinse the vial several times with aquarium water. Once fully rinsed, fill it with 20 milliliters of aquarium water using the included syringe for increased accuracy. Carefully shake the PO41 reagent bottle before use, then add 10 drops to the test vial and swirl for 10 seconds. Carefully shake the PO42 reagent bottle and then add 2 drops to the test vial and swirl. The PO42 is a thick liquid so it will take a bit of effort to squeeze out a drop. Wait 10 minutes. By looking from above, match the color of the test sample with the included color card to determine your phosphate level. Rinse the test vial and measuring syringe with tap water and store. Depending on your phosphate reading, you may need to adjust your feeding habits, up your current water change regimen, or any other control method. The Giesman Nitrate Test Kit allows for highly accurate, low-range readings specifically suited for reef aquariums with stony coral populations. In natural seawater, the nitrate concentration only ranged from 0.01 to 0.5 mg per liter. An SPS dominant tank should ideally be kept at a nitrate concentration below 1 mg per liter. Giesman nitrate test kits are an easy and economical test that also delivers incredible precise measurement up to 4 mg per liter. Using the test kits is simple. Rinse the test vial in running water and then rinse the vial several times with aquarium water. Once fully rinsed, fill it with 20 milliliters of aquarium water using the included syringe for increased accuracy. Carefully shake the NO3-1 reagent bottle before use, then add 5 drops to the test vial and swirl. Carefully shake the NO3-2 reagent bottle before use, then add 5 drops to the test vial and swirl. 
Add one level scoop of nitrate powder using the mini spoon. Gently swirl the testing container for 20 seconds. Wait 20 minutes. By looking from above, match up the color of the test sample with the included color card to determine your nitrate level. It is best to use non-direct lighting. Rinse the test vial and measuring syringe with tap water and store. Keeping our water parameters at optimal levels and ensuring our corals have access to the very basic building blocks needed to grow and thrive will increase our success rate. As reef hobbyists, we have one simple job, maintaining water quality. That is the key to enjoying a tank full of happy and colorful corals. Well, that's our video for today. If you'd like to learn more about the Giesemann Phosphate and Nitrate test kits, including detailed specs and beautiful high quality pictures, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any other questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Recording Products.